Mr. Malablis, and welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. So AKA's uh, bodyguard has finally spoken out in an interview for the first time, and this is what he said. The, the words that came out of the protectors about it, as I answered the phone, was AKA is down. So it didn't hit me. So I'm trying to understand, like, what are you saying? AKA, he said AKA is down. You have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a piece of uh, an interview, or recording of a piece of an interview that was done by Dog, aka's manager, uh, and he was speaking to Larson. Okay, so now I'm going to be quoting from an article that was written by the South African. It says, speaking to Larson, he explained that there were no plans for AKA to go to Florida Road that night, and he would have prevented him from going. Ninety percent of our work is the manner in which we move. It's the plan planning, how you pre-plan, how you schedule your timing and placing of yourself and the person you are protecting. So this is what he told Larson. He further went on to say that part of their job is to restrict movement, therefore reducing threats. He says, in my absence, protocol was breached. Kiernan was called and invited to go to Florida Road at which which he accepted and he went had i been there that protocol would not have been breached simply because that call would have come through the road manager and this is what Douglas said okay so apparently or allegedly aka's road manager whose name is scorpion siam Zuli, who is also in dogos or ko's uh, brother was not there allegedly at the moment okay so doug goes on to say that aka had been receiving threats so the article says aka had been receiving threats this information he also received during his interview with sunday times a week after the fella in versace hit, uh, hit maker's death he told the publication that the late artist began uh, hearing about threats shortly after his fiance anele neli tembe died in april of 2021 anele obviously fell to her death from the 10th floor of the pepper club hotel on loop street while they were together although he refused to elaborate dog said that the threat always came from the same place. In addition, he said that the lemons or lemonade rapper did not have beef with any musician or women or was involved in any drug deals. His insurance and record labels were also in place. He says, AKA did not take on any gigs for a couple of months. I strengthened his security and reduced his movement. But even with all those restricted movements, there were times when we had gigs where AKA would fly in, go straight to the performance and then go straight back to either a private jet or take a late flight straight out of KwaZulu-Natal. The public education quoted him saying, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is just um, from an article that I had read at the South African, as I've already previously stated. And honestly speaking, it's, it's just, you know, it's a whole lot. Obviously, the bodyguard said that he always tries to restrict his client's movement and that for the longest time after Anane Tembe's death, AKA had been receiving um, threats and that these threats always came from the same place. He also goes to emphasize that allegedly AKA never had any like, you know, uh, big beefs with any musicians or any women or any drug dealings and that his insurance policies and record de dealings were always in place. So it just, you know, without him saying a lot in that interview or without him quoting directly what he wanted to say he actually said a lot you know if you can sort of read between the lines which is a very dangerous thing to do at times he's basically confirming what a lot of people or a lot of South Africans have been suspecting from the longest time aka as we all know was shot in KwaZulu Natal on Florida Road and the bodyguard is quoted saying that the death threats that he allegedly received were coming after his fiance Anele Tembe had passed away and that the threats were always coming from the same place, you know? So this causes us to raise our eyebrows and our eyebrows have already been raised for the longest time ever. But anyways, I don't want to ramble on too much. Please do tell me what you think about all of this in the comments section. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next upload. Goodbye, lovelies.